Hello, good evening and welcome to Peter TV. We're fishing for sea trout on the Hampshire Avon today. I've got a selection of flies to try, so we're going to be taking out the fly rod and uh, using a selection of flies tied by my friend Paul Shuttler. And uh, I'll just show you an example of one I'm going to try today. Um, and there you have it. It's a, a kind of a, a butcher looking fly. It's a bloody butcher type fly. You can see the, tab, the red tag at the back end. It's got a bit of a, um, a sinking head to it as well, so a bit of weight, and it's got a silver and black body. Um, I, I like the look of that. It's quite a long shank hook. Um, we've got a whole range in here. We've got some other variations. Paul's painted eyes on one, one of them here, so there's a variation for you with a painted eye. And then we've got um, smaller ones without the gold heads, but just straightforward all the way through. Um, that's a little nice one. And uh, let's see what else we've got here. That's an interesting one. It's got a bit of red underbelly. That could be interesting as well. With a bit of a tag at that end. So that's a possibility. And um, we've also got this little beauty here, sea trout fly. It's got a touch of silver and blue. Always works well for the sea trout. And it's got a little bit of um, brown and white squirrel on the top end with a little red tag. So there's another possibility. Um, I've also got some sand eel like looking flies. I'm just going to show you what they look like. Here's one. I got these from Wells. So you've got a silver body with a black, very lightly dressed black um, wings to it. Double at the back with a bit of flash. And you've got that loop of front end. Uh, so it works better. It kind of swims better through the water with that loop. So you've got that one. Um, what else have I got here? I've got one that looks a bit more like a eel as well. So you get that one with the black tag, silver body, nice long sand eel looking fly. And um, my mate Ian Wofford nailed a 10 pound plus sea trout on his home tide fly. And you won't believe this, I'll show you the fly. But he caught them over in Argentina. And uh, that's the fly. It's lightly dressed. So it's got obviously a long tail. I'm going to give that a go as well. Danny Taylor would like that. That would snake through the water. And it looks really basic, but it's got just a little bit of um, flash on there. And it's got a little bit of um, brown underneath. And that's simple. And it's caught him big sea trout. So we can try that as well. I've got a range of other sea trout flies in here. I've got really small butchers in here as well. So if we have to scale down to smaller flies, we've got a smaller dinky link. Uh, red tag butcher and what else have we got here we've got a long one as well and these can work well and hook better you've got a long shanked bloody butcher so there's a whole range of um, little sea trout flies here I've got a second one tied by Ian Watford which has got a gold body and they apparently work very well for sea trout so we can try that and yeah there's a whole range of uh, sea trout flies that we can just try tonight so I'll just show you the um, the way I lay them out. So there we go. These are all the sea trout flies that we're going to try today. So tomorrow I'm going out with another friend, Bob Smith. He's got a little boat. So we'll probably try some of these flies out in the harbour. And uh, we've got some small, very small ones and two nets to try as well. 